A new day, more Battlefield 1 info. This time it comes in the form of a new trailer slash development diary giving some information about the weapons that we'll be able to use. Yes, you've seen a lot of weapons already from the closed alpha, but Battlefield is known for its variety, and here we get to see a lot more of that. So let's get straight into it then. First up, we have the Bergman MG15 light machine gun. Seen here on St. Quentin Scar taking down a few enemies, this German light machine gun filled a large gap in the German armory between the bolt action rifles and their heavy machine guns. Here in Battlefield 1, you can see from the text under the kill confirmation that it's noted as a suppressor. Now, I don't think that means it has a suppressor attached to it. Looking at this screenshot right now, I'm not entirely sure if there's a suppressor on the end there or not. I don't even know if that's historically accurate. What I think it means is that this weapon is built to suppress people. It is a suppressor in its own right. This next clip is of the Lewis machine gun, and yes, I know, we already have this confirmed as an in-game weapon. I'm sure you've seen far too much footage of it already, but again, we're looking underneath the kill confirmation at the text, and here we see the extension low weight. In the alpha, most of the weapon variants were simply denoted by two capital letters next to the weapon name, and that made it a little bit difficult at first glance to really know what scenarios the weapon was intended to be used in. Perhaps it was just simply a working method, it was only the alpha after all, and perhaps now moving forward, we'll see more of the weapons have accurate naming. Third snippet, and after a little bit of research, this weapon is the Auto 5. It's designed by John Browning, and that was in 1898, so an extremely old weapon. Its name is very descriptive of the weapon itself. It's an auto-loader shotgun and has a maximum capacity of five rounds, four in the magazine and one in the chamber. It was actually the first successful shotgun of this design to ever be produced, and it saw use all the way through the war. Here in Battlefield 1, it will be available to the assault class, I'm assuming, as they are the only class with access to the shotguns. Another quick one here on some older weapons, we've got the MP18 SMG and the Rigotti Rifle. They both get featured in this trailer, each with new variant names. The MP18 sees the trench variant being used. I'd associate the word trench with close quarters battle, so maybe that's why this variant has got a bayonet attached to it. The Rigotti has the word factory on it. Maybe this is like the base model of the weapon without any attachments? I guess we need to wait for a little bit more information there. Probably the highlight of the footage now, we see the Tikavir. This is an anti-tank rifle. It's the world's first anti-tank rifle, and it was the only one to feature during the First World War. The Germanic name indicates where it originated from, in Germany, and over 15,000 were produced. In the gameplay, we can see it blowing up a tank, and it seems like the rifle might operate a little bit different to some of the other bolt-action rifles in the game. The rifle in real life is a single-shot rifle, meaning each round needs to be loaded manually into it, and it comes pre-equipped with a bipod. How does that make it any different from other bolt-action rifles, though? It produces so much recoil when it's fired, it's designed to be operated from the ground or the edge of trenches. However, in the footage, it looks like the soldier is simply standing up, not bipodded behind cover or laying prone on the ground. Maybe this is another of DICE's creative changes to Battlefield 1, a modern take on the older setting. And just very briefly, and I mean very briefly, you don't see it on the screen for very long, that right there in the box, that looks like the Tikavir to me. And we know what battle pickups looked like in Battlefield 4. They were just on this little platform in the middle of the map. Could the Tikavir be a battle pickup in Battlefield 1? Kind of looks like it. Another weapon now, this one here, the Remington Model A. This one is a semi-automatic rifle, so it should be available for the medics. And again, this one designed by John Browning and produced by Remington Arms. The issue here, though, is that in-game, the Model 8 right now has eight rounds in it. Seven rounds in the magazine, and presumably one in the chamber. 
In real life, the Model A either comes with a 5 round magazine or a 15 round magazine. Now, the player in game might have fired some of his bullets, or DICE is doing a little bit of trickery. In that same bit of footage as well, you can see a soldier in front of the other player holding the Model 8. He's firing the mortar. Now, this is a gadget I expected to be in Battlefield 1, but it's something that we hadn't seen so far. And the final bit? Ah, oh, you've already missed it. <laughs> Here's a screenshot, and now I'll slowly zoom in. That right there is a player riding a horse on St. Quentin's Scar, which is a thing that people ask for from the Alpha. Looks like you're getting what you ask for. So there you go, some new weapons to think about on our approach to Gamescom. Less than two weeks away now, and we know for sure that Battlefield 1 is going to be there. Make sure you leave a like if you're excited for Battlefield 1, and leave some comments as well. Let me know what you think of these new weapons. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.